Peace to you, brothers and sisters. Um, today's podcast is going to be a short one. Lord willing, I'm hoping. Um, I just want to cover the Grace Life Church issue. Um, I'm sure you have seen on Twitter um, or maybe somewhere else that the, the church, um, the government decided to put a fence around the Grace Life Church um, as a result of, because they're trying to block the church from holding services so this is from phil johnson um the the executive um i think it's the ceo um chief executive officer of grace community oh, sorry of grace to you um so it says question for those who claim to be evangelicals but have been cheerleading government efforts to close down um grace life church so this is a tweet has it risen to the level of tyranny yet um, do you still deny that uh, this congregation is being persecuted? Um, this is the question from um, from Phil Johnson. Um, he posted on Twitter. So apparently they, they, they placed a fence around the, the church to block the people from, from, um, from accessing um, the buildings of the church. So this is what I've got. I've been looking for articles on this. Um, for for the past for sorry yesterday um i should have done this yesterday but i couldn't find what was happening um why was the government but i mean we know because the pastor was arrested for five weeks he was released um on the last week of march i think i think uh, the 22nd or 23rd of march um so we know he's been in prison for preaching um and not obeying the government's regulations regarding the church, so re- the COVID restrictions, which are aimed at the church. So this is just one paragraph I'm going to read from an article by um, Reformation Charlotte, where they say, so watch as the CCP controlled Gestapo enforced Grace Life church closure in Canada. So this is what they say on this. Watch as the Canadian... Gestapo, um, which is clearly subservient to the CCP, CCP being the Chinese Communist Party, blocks off Grace Life Church in Alberta, Canada, whose pastor was recently arrested for jail after being, who was recently released, sorry, from jail after being arrested for holding church services to enforce the health orders in place due to COVID-19. While many argue that this is simply enforcement of safety rules, which they do not understand is, or what they do not understand is the, is the CCP uses the same rhetoric. They don't jail Chinese because they are Christians. They jail them under the guise of being a threat to safety. So we, we are faced with this issue. Um, this was basically for a prayer request um, that you would keep the Grace Life Church in Canada um, in your prayers as they are facing persecution from the government as they are trying to hold services in obedience to Christ and for the glory of our God. Um, may you please keep them in your prayers. Um, I wanted to keep this one short. If there are any updates from your side, please. Um, if there are any updates, sorry, from my side, I will let you know, but if you have any information that you think I should cover on this, just leave it on the comment section down below. I also have another channel called Expressive Commentary or Expressive Conversation, bottom line Expressive Commentary, um, where I cover the like the misinterpretations or the word, the things that are happening in the world just outside the church. Um, things like um, what the lady called Maya, calls said about burning buildings um for the black lives matter movement um or if they don't get the conviction um with regards to 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 the guy who 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 was the police officer who was arrested for murdering um george floyd um yeah so i cover issues like those basically those that are happening in the world so please do subscribe to the channel um the link is on the description below um until next time may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all i will see you
on the next podcast.